Hi everyone, Jay here at OpenText and in part one of our three-part series on the basics of OpenText Core Signature, I'm going to show you how to send a document for electronic signature via OpenText Core Share. Let's get going. You'll notice the familiar files list of OpenText Core Share. I'm going to head to my East Dam hydroelectric project. We're going to assume a very basic scenario here uh, rather than a complex electronic signature use case. I have an employment agreement in place for Wendy Kite, who I want to be my new project manager. All I need to do is go ahead and select that file, go on up to the More menu, and then navigate on down to the Send for Signature. I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's going to pop up the OpenText Core Signature pane. I simply add Wendy's email address in here, or any address that you want to send a document to. You'll notice some advanced features in here. We'll cover those off in later videos. I'm going to type a message. Please review and sign. And you'll have to accept the terms of use and privacy policy, basically assuring you that OpenText takes privacy of information very seriously, as we do the way we handle any content that you send for electronic signature. So go ahead and check that. There'll be two options if you're confident that the document is good to go. You can click send right from here. But let me show you a really cool feature of OpenText Core Signature. The document preparation screen allows you to review. You'll see again some more advanced features we'll cover off. You see the note here, please review and sign. I'm going to go ahead and send that off to Wendy. On Wendy's side, she's going to see a notification or receive a notification indicating that I've sent her her employment agreement for review and signature if she sees fit. She can go ahead and click that. And to close out today's video, let me show you what I see on my end. A great feature of OpenText Core Signature is that it keeps me as the sender of the document notified every step of the way. So whether Wendy has viewed that email or downloaded or she's commented on it or ultimately signed it, and we'll cover those off in parts two and three, I'm kept abreast every step of the way. So three key takeaways today. Um, I should mention it's very important. The sender of a, elect or a file for electronic signature has to be a member of an enterprise tier tenant of CoreShare, as well as have the subscription to the Core Signature add-on in place for this to work. If you'd like to see it for yourself, CoreShare or Core Signature or both, you can go ahead, visit core.opentext.com, sign up for a free trial. And just to let you know, part two will be the signer experience, what Wendy, in this case, sees on her side of things and how she signs that document and sends it back to me for review. So stay tuned for that one and have a great day.